How does a bird barely the size of your hand fly across vast stretches of countryside, over forests, mountains, even unfamiliar cities, and still land exactly at its home loft? No GPS, no map, no guidance from above. Just wings, instinct, and something else. Something science has struggled for centuries to explain. Pigeons have baffled emperors, scientists, and soldiers. Even today, with satellites orbiting overhead and AI mapping the globe, these humble birds continue to outwit us. Their navigational ability is not a simple trick. It's a layered, mysterious system of senses and memories, some of which we're only beginning to uncover. And what scientists have discovered will surprise you. For thousands of years, humans turned to pigeons whenever speed and reliability mattered. In ancient Egypt, they carried messages between temples. In wartime Europe, they delivered critical intelligence through gunfire and chaos, saving lives. Their loyalty and uncanny ability to return home turned them into living communication networks long before the internet. But the question always lingered, how? How could a bird released hundreds of kilometers away in a place it had never seen before still find its way back? Was it magic? Was it instinct? Or was it something far more advanced hidden inside their biology? In the 1950s, a scientist named Gustav Kramer proposed an elegant solution. Pigeons, he argued, don't rely on a single sense. Instead, they use a two-step system, a map to figure out where they are and a compass to figure out where to go. Think of it this way. First, they ask, where am I relative to home? That's the map. Then, which direction should I fly? That's the compass. This idea became the foundation of modern pigeon science. But it also opened a new mystery. What actually makes up this mysterious map? What cues do pigeons rely on? One of the strangest and most convincing theories is the smell map. According to this idea, pigeons memorize the odors carried by the wind around their home loft. Over time, they build up a detailed scent atlas of their region. When released far away, they sniff the air, compare it to their memory, and figure out where home must be. The evidence is astonishing. Pigeons deprived of their sense of smell become hopelessly lost. Others exposed to artificial scents were tricked into flying in the wrong direction, as if the world had been flipped upside down. Some scientists believe this smell map works like a patchwork mosaic with birds learning the odors of local winds within a certain radius. Others argue for long distance odor gradients stretching across entire countries. Either way, the message is clear. Pigeons are walking, or rather flying, air quality monitors using smell to chart their way through the sky. But smell alone isn't enough. Because what happens when the air doesn't tell the whole story? Part 4. The Magnetic Sense Hidden inside a pigeon's body may be one of nature's strangest tools, the ability to detect the Earth's magnetic field. Imagine having an invisible compass needle inside your head. That's what magnetoreception gives pigeons, a backup navigation system that works even when the sky is overcast or the wind is misleading. Scientists have tried to locate the receptors for this ability. At first, they thought tiny iron particles in the beak were the sensors, but later research revealed those magnetite cells were just immune cells. The real answer might lie in the inner ear or even within specialized proteins. Experiments are just as bizarre. When pigeons are exposed to strong magnetic pulses, they lose their sense of direction temporarily, yet somehow many of them still make it home, suggesting magnetism is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. And when the sky's clear, pigeons turn to an even more dazzling tool. On a bright day, pigeons use the ultimate guide, the sun, with an internal body clock that keeps track of time they compensate for the sun's movement across the sky, holding a steady course for hours. The proof comes from one of the most famous experiments in pigeon science. Shift a pigeon's biological clock by six hours and it will fly off in the wrong direction, exactly as predicted. That's how precise their sun compass is. But pigeons aren't stuck with just the sun. As they gain experience, they memorize the world around them. Rivers, roads, hedges, even buildings. Release an old racing champion near its loft, and it will follow the same winding air highway again and again, like a pilot sticking to a flight path. 
GPS trackers reveal these routes are highly personal. Each pigeon carves its own invisible corridor through the sky. This shows that pigeons don't just rely on instincts. They learn, adapt, and develop strategies, which brings us to the most mind-blowing discovery of all. We're never gonna know exactly what's in this pigeon's hat, what's going on in here, why she wants to go home, how she finds the shortest way home, and that's maybe the nicest thing of the pigeon sport. It's like the orientation. It could be the magnetic field of the earth. It could be the place of the sun. As soon as they know the sun is on the east side or on the west side, we know which way to go to find our way home. And there are also some points they recognize during the flight home. Like I say, it could be a big building, it could be a highway. So, but there's still a few things that we don't know about the pigeons. How can they orientate? Like a race is 900 kilometers, for example, to go home. But a pigeon can easily fly 1000 or 1100 kilometers to find that way home. So you see on the list, this race is 900 kilometers, but the pigeon flew maybe 1,200 kilometers, so 300 kilometers more. So we don't know that, we're waiting at home before our pigeon arrives. And then she doesn't tell us if she flew 900 kilometers or 1,200. I just told you it's the position of the sun. It could be a recognition on the floor when the pigeon is flying high in the sky. He sees a big highway, he sees a big tower, some buildings. The coastline is also important, but it's also the magnetic field. But there may be many, many other things that a pigeon uses to find his shortest way home. It could be also the good motivation that a pigeon fancier gives to his pigeons. If I try to motivate my pigeons to, to find the shortest way home, to go home as quick as possible, I wish you good luck and many, many pleasure moments with your pigeons. Bye-bye. For years, skeptics dismissed pigeons as little more than feathered robots. But one clever experiment changed everything. Researchers trained pigeons to eat at a second loft, about 30 kilometers away from their home loft. Then they released them from a third unfamiliar location, exactly in between the two. Some pigeons had just eaten. Others were hungry. The results were shocking. The full pigeons flew straight to their home loft. The hungry ones? They flew directly to the food loft. This wasn't instinct. This wasn't chance. This was proof that pigeons can hold multiple maps in their heads, know where they are in relation to each, and even make decisions based on their internal state. That's not just navigation. That's cognition. And science has uncovered the biological roots of this ability. Look inside a pigeon's brain and you'll see something unusual. An enlarged hippocampus. This is the same brain region that lets humans remember locations and navigate cities. In pigeons, it's supercharged. Genetic research reveals more. Certain genes have been favored by centuries of selective breeding. LRP8 helps with spatial memory, making mental maps more detailed. GSR reacts to magnetic fields, hinting at a biological compass at the cellular level. Other genes like DRD4 are linked to performance and endurance. Together, these give pigeons a powerful blend of memory, instinct, and physical ability, a genetic toolkit for long-distance travel. But even with all this knowledge, the story isn't complete. Despite decades of experiments, pigeons still hold secrets. What exact chemicals make up the smell map? Where in the body are the magnetic sensors hiding? Could pigeons also be using infrasound from crashing waves or subtle differences in gravity? The truth may be that pigeons don't rely on one single sense at all. Instead, they have a flexible layered system, smell, magnetism, the sun, memory, switching between them depending on weather, terrain, and experience. It's this flexibility that makes them nearly unstoppable. Even if one sense fails, another takes over. A pigeon doesn't give up, it finds a way home. So the next time you see a pigeon circling in the sky, Remember, inside that tiny body is one of nature's greatest navigational systems. Smells, magnetic whispers, sunbeams, landmarks, memory, all working together like a living GPS, yet far more mysterious. We may think of them as common city birds,
But the truth is, they are master navigators, survivors, and thinkers. Their secret isn't just in their senses, but in their adaptability. And maybe that's the lesson for us. In a world of shifting signals and endless distractions, sometimes the best way to find home is not with one path, but with many.